The National Conservation Authority, the NCA, is concerned about a growing trend at the Pigeon Island National Landmark, the illegal dumping of construction and household waste. On Wednesday, 12 February, we accompanied officials on a site visit. When you think of the Pigeon Island area, you think of St. Lucia's national landmark, conservation and beauty. But instead, when we entered here on the Pigeon Island Causeway, what we found was garbage. Lots and lots of garbage. Now, this is nothing new to St. Lucia, but the authorities are saying that this practice has to stop. The National Conservation Authority, the St. Lucia Solar Waste Management Authority, the St. Lucia National Trust, the Landings and Sandals Grand are all in agreement that the practice is detrimental to the St. Lucian tourism product, the environment, and the health of the country. General Manager of the National Conservation Authority, Jacinta Lee, expressed her displeasure with the practice as not too long ago, the authority made a plea to residents about the disposal of waste on the island's beaches. Let me tell you that you could see in, uh, to the back, you could see some of the garbage, but all around the area, it's just garbage. And how could somebody do that? I'm really, really sad about this. Now, let me just say that we have gone through the garbage and we've been able to pick up um, some names, names of companies. And these companies will be um, contacted. Derelict containers, bulky waste, green waste, and construction and demolition material all form part of the refuse being dumped at a private lot near the Pigeon Island Causeway. While the Solid Waste Management Authority does not have jurisdiction over private property, the organization is appealing to those practicing the illegal act to dispose of their waste at the official site, the Deglu Sanitary Landfill. There is a fine when the culprits are caught of $5,000 to clean, they have two choices, either to clean the area or pay the fine. So today, I am asking that generators, they know who they are, stop the illegal dumping of waste, take it to the sanitary landfill, it's free of charge. We have the Pigeon Island National, National Landmark straight ahead, the landings, the sandals resort. And when people are driving up here to see that this is the very first thing that they see here, this angers all staff members of the St. Lucia National Trust and members alike. Um, it is really embarrassing that we have to have this in front of such beauty. Parliamentary Representative for Grosley, Honorable Leonard Montoot, says this particular site is not the only one in his constituency where waste is being disposed of illegally. He cautioned residents to do the right thing, not just for the environment, but for their health. If you have a problem with the disposal of bulk waste, there are days when your garbage, when you, as part of garbage collection, bulk waste is picked up. If you have a problem and you, you, you don't have access to, to that service, then speak to solid waste, speak to environmental health department and you will get assistance. This is a practice I'm hoping that people will desist from engaging in and I'm hoping that the perpetrators, you know, will understand that they are doing a disservice to, to this country, the people of the country. What I think ought to be done, especially in the areas that we know that are regularly um, used for, for indiscriminate dumping, we, I think cameras should be set in those areas so that the perpetrators could be caught and penalized for that practice. Because at times an appeal to the good judgment and good senses of individuals does not work and sometimes penal measures is what is required. The stakeholders plan to hold a cleanup for the area on February 29, 2020.